Hey guys, Sister Bear, and this is FTB Stoneblock 3. Hope you're all having a great day. I myself, well, I am having a fantastic one. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Thank you very much. But we're going to go ahead and jump back to this back here and just uh, kind of push forward, right? So in between episodes, I went ahead and uh, worked on uh, setting up our EMC links. So these things here have a whole bunch of different ideas with them that we could just, uh, you know, have infinite amounts of as long as we have EMC, which is really rad, right? So a lot of them are set up here. The way I was kind of sorting this out too, kind of keeping track of... Uh, what I want to keep infinite amounts of, basically, is I just go hashtag EMC. Then I scroll down, just scroll down here, once I get past all these two Bs with two billions, find items that uh, I don't have, I guess, infinite amounts of yet, and add to the list, right? So I may want to add that, maybe that there, uh, maybe some kelp, you know. Just, you know, just go through the list here, figure out what we need to add there. Stone Brooks is probably a good one as well. And uh, just get it sorted out, right? So once you have your items, you just run over to the EMC link and just basically drop them off, right? So that, 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 and that. And once one gets filled up, you just move on to the next one. And then when you shift them in, it just automatically adds it to the filter, right? So a really easy way of doing that. And uh, just a good way of uh, making sure you don't have to have everything on AutoCraft, right? That has uh, anything that has EMC. You just kind of do it as you go. Uh, another thing I did was, uh, I guess, up here. Let's go ahead and head up here. Got rid of our chicken room. The only thing that's left up here is the extruder. And we don't even technically need this anymore. Although in the future, we're going to have to do a singularity with uh, your name. So we are going to have to pump up our urinite production at some point. But uh, for right now, that's just sitting up there. And I didn't do anything else here. Let's head down here for a sec. I did do something right here. There you go. So earlier in the pack, I, I mentioned the loot crate opener in part two, right? In part two, had a loot crate opener. I didn't think this one had one, but it does. So there's a loot crate opener. What I did was set up a little self-sustaining refined storage. So this one's independent of the system, right? It's not connected at all with any cables. If I did, it would break, right? But here I just have one drive. It has uh, 3,316 items in it. It just automatically open up the loot crates and dropping off the items in here. Just so I could see what was kind of coming in and all the different uh, actual loot chests, right? And the way I'm doing that is just exporting the loot chest straight into loot crate opener. Then they get pulled up into this buffer chest and then imported via an importer into refined storage. So pretty cool, pretty awesome and uh, working out pretty well. Would have been a lot more useful early on, but I didn't know it existed. Anyway, that is... Uh, one other thing I did, and I think the last thing I did was uh, down here. Kind of finished off this room down here. I didn't do too much. I just added uh, some of these here. Dynamic edge lights, so they're just pretty cool. They just kind of lights that go in the corner, right? So you have to make these bottom ones. You got to make the top ones, depending on which part of the block you're working on, but look pretty awesome. And then I just started on another room in here. This room is going to be for an automation we're going to do today. We need to go ahead and automate our first singularity, basically. Uh, the balloon singularity. So this one is going to be one of the harder ones to do in the pack, oddly, oddly enough. <laughs> Mostly because of the sheer amount you actually need, right? So to make these things, you get two balloons for each recipe, right? But you got to make these tough fabrics. Each one of them takes, uh, I guess, 24 uh, of the industrial hemp from immersive engineering. And then, yeah, that's why you got to cut that in half. That would be 12 per balloon, basically. But you also have to automate the treated wood, which was something we did previously. So we're going to go ahead and get to that. That'll probably be the first thing we work on. Then after that, we may work on another singularity called the compact machine walls. We got a lot of singularities to do. I think there's like 21 or something. A lot of them have EMC, but a lot of them don't. So the ones that don't, we need to start working on pretty much right away because uh, a lot of them, we need large amounts of stuff and we want them to kind of all line up at the same time and be done at the same time. We need to start with the most complicated ones first. So let's go ahead and uh, start working towards automating hemp here. So do that. Uh, actually, I should mention too, the amount of hemp we actually need is over 8 million. We actually need over 8 million hemp to get all the hemp that we need to actually get enough of the singularities to be able to make every one of the catalysts we need. So each one of these actually takes 1,024. And then I think someone said you need 1,600 catalysts to get through every item in the pack, right? So we need a lot, basically. <laughs> so that's why I'm starting this one really early because I know we need a lot of stuff for it, right? Anyway, the first thing I want to do is grab us some oak. So let's go ahead and grab that right there. There you go. That should give us enough treated wood. And then we'll drop that off. Pretty sure we need some planks too, so let's grab you. We need one of these here, an engineer's workbench. So let's work towards that. There you go. That is fine. This just lets us craft some components from uh, immersive engineering that we're gonna need here. This we need a fence too, so let's go ahead and get you. Get that. I think I already have a couple cloches. We need uh, 12 of them though for the setup I wanna do. I got six as rewards thus far. We also need one of these here. It's an engineer's blueprint. There's different versions of these, but we want the one that's crafting components. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll just go ahead and uh, pump that down pretty much anywhere. Put this in here. 
Now, if we put the right things in here, this will kind of light up and we can pull the items out, right? So the ones that we need right now are this here. We need this incandescent light bulb. So we need paper, glass, and copper. So let's grab the stuff we need. Let's go paper, then we need glass. Not even gonna worry about the ratios at all, to be honest. Not too worried, I'll just uh, take it, throw it in, and did pop it out, right? Here you go, go ahead and grab them. Got ourselves about a stack, which is more than enough. Go ahead and drop them off. And then what do we need for the other ones here? The iron mechanicals. Oh, we need to make uh, sheets too. So let's go ahead and grab some iron. And then we need some copper on top of that. And that should pretty much handle that, right? Oh, I forgot too, I upgraded my uh, backpack too. So I have the netherite one now. It has this crate, like it has a whole bunch of slots. I don't know how many slots it was, but it wraps around your um, inventory. It's a little strange, but anyway, go ahead and uh, grab you real quick. Go ahead and do that, do this, do that. Then we should be able to grab our iron mechanical uh, components, which is great. Grab all we can, we got 32 of those. And with that, we should be able to just straight up make our closures, right? So if I want to make some closures now, go ahead and grab, hopefully six of them. If I drop everything in there, do that. Like I said, I'm just gonna go with uh, 12 of them for right now. We're gonna do a pretty robust setup with stopwatches on this one. Um, hopefully so I can turn it off pretty quickly uh, going through the pack, right? I don't wanna be, I think I'd be running uh, eight stopwatches with this setup here. Anything else we need here? I think I need a pyrolyzer. What do we de need for that? Uh, I can actually auto craft that. Actually bricks, can I just, actually I might be able to just EMC that, right? Yeah, why don't I just do this? This is way easier. Let's go ahead and uh, pull up you in there. Here you go. Then if I go to the pyrolyzer again, Oh, this has EMC, EMC as well. Go ahead and drop you off. I'm gonna be doing stuff like this a lot now, <laughs> mind you. Even this has EMC. I don't even have to do the machine frames, man. Oh man, I love EMC. This makes our life so much easier. And then anything else I can I need from that? These gears, these have EMC. What else, what else here? I might as well just look at all, right? And this as well. There you go. All stuff I'll never have to craft again right there. There you go. Go ahead and grab ourselves a pyrolyzer. This is going to be what we use. I didn't mean to grab two, but it's used to actually make creosote. So we're doing it currently in the immersive uh, Coke oven, but this could do the same thing. So that is actually pretty rad as well. Anything else we need right now? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and head down to the room now and uh, start working towards our automation. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard, actually. I'm so sick of these guys. I need to make my turrets. Maybe today or tomorrow. Today or tomorrow. We just got the engineer's table. We'll make our turret. So let's go ahead and uh, do our hemp automation first, then we'll do the treated wood after. So I think the treated wood's gonna go in that back wall. And we're gonna do the actual hemp down here in a little pod, right? So I'm gonna end up with these, I think at this height. Yeah, that is good there. These are actually like three tall, kind of like multi-block, I guess, machines, right? But uh, I'll have this kind of configuration where they're all pointing inwards towards each other. In here too, you can see this is gonna be where it takes water. You can put bone meal here if you want to. I'm going to, because it's free and infinite. And that'll just make it go faster, right? So this is the fertilizer that it adds. Then you'll want dirt, a seed. This will be the output slots. And then this is power here, right? Now the power we're gonna do from the top, but I believe you can do from the sides as well. But uh, that's not gonna be how we do it here. And um, the items will come out this here. So this, uh, I guess the bottom part of the glass, the middle block, this one with the little dot here, the little orange dot, the items come out here. So that's where we're gonna wanna pump them out of there as well. Uh, I should do water first. Let's get the water out of here. I dug this hole too with uh, one of these, a five by five by one miner, diamond reinforced hammer. Just a really easy way of doing it actually. Let's go ahead and grab you. Go ahead and do that and that. Then I think I have an aqueous, do the U, then probably give you an upgrade. And that should be good there. We'll have to get water into every one of these. And in the bottom there, you notice the little blue thing. You can do this through the back, I think as well, actually the water. It doesn't matter too much. I think on the side that you do the water, but um, we're gonna put it through the, uh, I guess, designated hole, right? Anyway, let's grab ourselves uh, some kind of wrench here. There you go. Go ahead and uh, pull that out there. Then we'll just have to get these all wired up. This should be more than fast enough to keep up with these two. These don't actually use a lot of water, so I'm not too concerned about that. So that should be good there. They have water in them, and that's fantastic. Should probably go ahead and, uh, we'll do the power after, actually. We'll do, what do we want to do next? Probably the bone meal. Let's go ahead and get the bone meal done, right? So the bone meal will end up in the back. So there's a little hole right here. That's gonna be where we pump the bone meal in. So we'll kind of just dig this out. We'll just use an EMC link to move all the bone meal in here too. Cause uh, yeah, again, free, right? <laughs> just keep it nice and free. It will make it faster, especially where we're gonna be using eight stopwatches on this setup, right? Cause I want it to be uh, pretty fast. So pretty fast, right? Let's go like back here, grab ourselves one of these EMC links. That is good. Grab ourselves a item pipe. Fantastic. 
Then I guess we'll need ourselves a bone meal. So we can set the filter here. You know, actually we knew this. I could have just done that from REI, but I guess it doesn't matter. Do that there. Then go ahead and set the extract as well. And pull that in there. And this should be getting bone meal. Then we'll just go ahead and uh, speed that up. And that should be full bone meal, right? And that's good. So basically all we need to do now is just run the cable all around it. And every one of these will end up full of bone meal at all times and be a little faster, right? Especially, like I said, with the stopwatches, it will really add up pretty quickly. The next thing we'll do here is the item collection, right? So we'll just do that off the center block, like I said, the one with the little orange dot there, and connect them all up. Then in the center, we'll have a storage controller, and then we'll just move the items out of here, because we'll have two items, right? So we'll have the seeds and the hemp. We don't really need the seeds, but we need to get them out of there so they don't come up the system. Then the hemp, I guess, is what we're actually going for, right? So that'll be how that kind of works there have to set the extracts on all these as well and get some uh, speed upgrades on the extracts. But uh, that should work out to uh, pretty, be pretty simple for us, right? So just do that. Sweet. And uh, just get all 12 of these upgraded relatively quickly. <laughs> relatively, right? Anyway, let's go do you. This here. Then after this, I guess all we really need is power, right? So we'll need to get power into these. And then we'll have to do a drawer for the items. And what else do we need? I guess the seeds and the dirt in here as well. Then we are pretty much done. So that is good there. So I handled that. Should go ahead and get the pedestals on here now at this point, actually, as well. So let's go ahead and grab them. Because if I don't, I'll have to break all the connections on the bottom. Because it actually tries to move items into these pedestals. And uh, it'll just make a, a mess, basically, is what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and uh, grab eight of those. That should be good. It's too bad these don't have EMC. <laughs> Although we already have them automated, so it doesn't matter too much. But we'll end up with eight of these. So those will sit right here. They're very much going to overlap and uh, speed up every close, which is kind of the uh, idea here. And I guess we just need to go ahead and get the uh, dirt in seed in here. There you go. When you shift them into, it tries to fill up both slots. They're not very smart about what they can take in them, right? So, yeah, you have to make sure you, you know, pull one out and put it back in. It's a little jank, but at the same time, you can uh, easily make a mistake doing it, like I just almost did right there. there you go. If you're going too fast and not really paying attention... And you just derp all around. Anyway, let's go ahead and do you. Get uh, this one done. And after this, we can actually get this powered up too. And it'll be already producing. So this thing's pretty pretty much done already at this point. Um, how did I lose the dirt? Oh no. Oh, it's on my bar. Okay, there you go. Crisis averted. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab all our power. So this will be all our power here. Then we'll just do this from the top. Just like that. I'm loving these uh, ender gates too. They're actually pretty cool. They're pretty cool. They're uh, not as powerful as uh, Flux Networks, but they actually definitely can keep up to our needs, right? So are these producing right now? What am I missing? I feel like you... Oh, I haven't split this up yet. <laughs> if I speed these up, they'll be going quite fast. There we go. So you can see here, this will be about how fast it is. So it produces stuff very, very quickly. I know some of you guys do are going to tell me to use the Fidos. I don't want to. I want to use these. Um, the phytogenics are pretty good too. I actually don't know which is better. Um, I think this might be actually. I've always had issues speeding up thermal machines, so I try not to accelerate them any more than I have to. But anyway, that'll be our kind of setup there. Then I guess we just need our drawers. I should have some drawers in here, right? Let's go ahead and grab them. Let's put one here, one here. Get them kind of configured, and then we'll kind of move them later on because I'm not sure exactly where we're going that where they're going to uh, end up when we're done here. So we'd want to lock them. Then I guess we want to link them up as well. So let's do that. That should be good there. Then we'll need some upgrades as well. But uh, at that point, we are pretty much done, right? So one will take seeds and then the other one will take hemp. See here, we've already produced tons, right? We're already at 1.1K uh, of the hemp here. And I don't know if there's anything we actually do with the seeds. Like, is there anything we really need this for? Probably not, right? There's like no way to turn it into hemp or anything. So probably just end up boarding it off. Let's go into, I guess, here, wherever we sell some void upgrades. Again, just takes the EMC. Then we want the uh, netherite upgrades as well, because why not, right? Let's go ahead and do that. This one here will just keep 2,000 seeds, just like that. And this one here will just uh, max out with the upgrades. Look at that. And now we can hold uh, 2.1 billion of the hemp, which is pretty cool. It's already made uh, 2.6K, actually almost uh, 3K, which is uh, pretty rad all around. And that will be our setup for hemp right there. So I just need to find a proper spot for it and clean up these back walls here with uh, the actual casings. Then we'll probably go ahead and move on to the treated wood. So I got it all finished up there. We're actually looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this out of here just so we have a little space to work here. So that's fine. But down here on the floor, it's uh, looking pretty good, right? Not too bad at all. Just uh, hidden down the floor. 
And then we got uh, about 37,000 hemp already. It goes up uh, really quick, so not too bad at all. This is going to be where we do our automation, I guess, for the treated wood, right? So I'm going to have a bunch of depots probably right around here. Uh, where's the center block? Center block's there, right? So I'm going to do seven of these depots. We're going to do seven of these spouts to actually pour the creosote on top of it as well, right? So we've got all these depots here. We'll kind of have it like that. Then I guess uh, right around here, we'd have the spouts. Spouts are really easy to make just some of the copper casings. That's some dried kelp. So these are what are going to drop the liquid on the wood and actually make the treated wood for us. So that'd be kind of the uh, concept there, right? So that is good. And then we'll end up with the py pyrolyzer here somewhere. You need to think about how I'm going to do this. Maybe I'll just put it like somewhere like that. I'm missing a spout too. Let's go ahead and uh, grab our last spout. There you go. Have to get the liquid into the spouts here. Then I'm going to have to get items onto here. So what we'll do here first, we'll go ahead and deal with the um, the planks. We end up with planks, needing planks on these uh, actual depots, right? So we'll deal with that first. What we'll do is uh, run back here, I guess, grab ourselves one of these here. EMC links, they are our best friends. Throw planks in there. That is good. Then we'll just go ahead and uh, pull them out of this puppy straight into the back of all these depots. Then our uh, plank needs are already taken care of, right? Super simple, super easy, and uh, I really like it. So let's go ahead and do you. Do that. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's right, right? Oh, that's the wrong upgrades. Why am I using these upgrades? We want the uh, the pipes ones, right? Pipes. Oh, oh yeah, I do have the ultimate ones. Let's go ahead and grab you. Sweet. Do uh, uh, that right there. There you go. That always keep that full of wood now. We don't have to worry about wood at all whatsoever. We need to get coal into this one as well, I guess. So let's go ahead and head up here. Let's do that and do this. And I guess we'll have to set the sides on this too. So the sides, I guess the, where is it here? Configuration. We want a input that should connect now. Then we just go ahead and pull that out. Then we'll go ahead and uh, feed that coal. And that's probably fast enough right there, actually. Probably don't need any faster than that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and speed up though, because it doesn't hurt too much, I don't think. There you go. So that should automatically handle that part of it. Let's go ahead and get that spin around or spun around too, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Here we go. Do we have uh, any more of those gates? I don't know. Do I have any gates in here? I need uh, at least one to power this machine here. It doesn't really matter where we power this from either. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, power it right here. Here you go. So this is going to make the creosote, right? So it's going to be the thing that actually does that part. Uh, we need the upgrades as well. What are the upgrades for this? I actually forget. Uh, the components, we'll need them. And I can't remember the other upgrades we need. We need three of them though. We need to look at that real quick. Let's go to here, go to at thermal. I know the look of it anyway. Let's see here. What's it look like? That one? No, it's this one right here. What is this called? This is called a flux language amplifier. Do I have everything I need to make those? Looks like it actually. This all has the byproducts too that we'll have to deal with, but I don't know if we actually need any of the byproducts to be honest. I guess we'll worry about that in a second. But that should make that machine max speed, which is what we want there, right? So that's good. We'll end up accelerating this too. We're going to have cool coat, which I think I only need one of those cool coat to make a steel. Then once we make that steel, we don't need it anymore. Yeah, <laughs> we only need one. So that's actually awesome. And then we'll probably just void the rest off. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a drawer here. Doesn't matter. Don't need a fancy one for this just because, well, we're going to be voiding it off. Then we'll grab ourselves a void upgrade like that. Probably uh, throw that on the back of this some way. Hopefully I can actually get it in the right spot. That is good there. And I guess I'll have to dig this out a little bit more just so I get to the front of it. Oh, that's totally not what I want to do. Go to here and, oh, we got to do a auto eject on that too, on the back, right? Is that the back there? I think that's back, right? That, and then we want auto output. We might as well do auto input too. And that should end up here. That's totally the wrong drawer too. We need the other drawer. This one here. I should uh, EMC this one. I haven't emc this drawer yet. Anyway, go ahead and pop you there. There we go. That is good there. Then we'll just uh, make sure it's voided and then probably make sure it's locked, right? So we want the uh, configuration tool. Now that's locked. So that part's take care. The next thing we need to do, I guess, is just get the liquids into these uh, spouts, right? So this one it's sitting on, we could just probably just do an output. Now fill that one up. See there, it's automatically starting to make the uh, treated wood, which is what we want. But uh, we'll just have to do that for the rest of them as well. Do I have any pipes? I do. Let's go ahead and uh, grab you here. And we'll just bring these across like this and just set the sides. And this is effectively done. We just need to do collection. And we could probably just do that underneath with uh, more item pipe and didn't put the drawer like right here or something, right? Note to self, don't use one of these hammers around this machine. Every time I spin this machine, it resets my <laughs> pipes on me and then I have to put the upgrades back in. Oh man, I've done that like three times so far. Is that good? Is that all sped up? You good now? You doing your thing? 
Fantastic, right? So the last part of this, like I said, is to kind of dig this out here. Then we'd have to come down here. We'll have to set some extracts on some cables. But effectively, all we have to do is this here, right? I have to go ahead and make one more of those drawers too, because I think that was the last one of my pretty drawers. But yeah, we'll just grab for right now, just grab a drawer just so it starts working. Do that right here. Then we just go ahead and pump that there. Then we'll just go ahead and set all the extracts. And this is effectively done, right? I don't think we have to do any filtering on this. I guess we'll find out in a second. But I'm pretty sure it only pulls out uh, the treated wood. And if we have a filter, it doesn't matter anyway, right? Because this will be locked. So yeah, that effectively uh, takes care of that as well. So all take care of, really rad. And look at it go, man. It's doing its thing. Uh, we will speed this up too. The acceleration on this will not work on the great stuff. But it will work on the um, actual pyrolyzer, right? So it'll make it a little faster to be able to keep up with the creosote. Because otherwise it's going to fall behind on the creosote. I knew that was going to be an issue. I could probably fit in two more, actually. I thought it was only going to work on seven. I thought I did it in a test world. And it fell behind at seven. Maybe I'm wrong. If I can fit in two more, I probably will. But uh, I thought it was going to fall behind at this point with acceleration. No, it looks like it's actually keeping up. And the last thing we need here, I guess, is some upgrades. Let's go ahead and uh, pop those in there. Now we can hold uh, two billion treated wood planks. We'll never hit them, but it doesn't hurt. It's, it's free, right? But now we have uh, nine of the spouts and we have uh, nine of the depots. You do need to filter the depots too. I kind of forgot. So yeah, I put down a new drawer and tried to put the regular planks in it. But once you have it in there locked, it's already filtered. You don't have to worry about it anymore. But yeah, definitely, definitely working. I was completely wrong about this too. It can keep up, no problem. I guess in my test world, maybe I never put all the upgrades in it. But yeah, it's keeping up. It looks like I'd actually add a few more of these spouts if I wanted to. And maybe I will if I find that I need more treated wood. But it's going up at a pretty good pace, which is not too bad. We don't need anywhere near of, uh, as much of this as we do have the hemp, right? So not too concerned about it, I guess, in the long run. But uh, yeah, we have it done. So that is fantastic. Wonderful. Great. And now we can move on to something else here. I'll probably end up uh, doing like andesite casings in here too. So I want to do andesite, copper, and uh, what is the other one there? Um, andesite, copper, and brass casings. Probably on one of these walls. Maybe both of these walls. Just because, well, it's one of those things I keep having to make and I've never uh, automated, right? So I might just have like a feed set up where I just come and do it manually. But either way, I need to get that done because I keep using these casings to decorate with. It's just a pain in the butt. So I decided to go ahead and actually set up the auto crafting on the actual balloons themselves. We're gonna do it right here, actually. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that done pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and pop that down, pop that down, and uh, kind of look at this, right? So it should be pretty easy to do. We're gonna move the drawers again, right? So let's go ahead and move them. There you go. They'll end up uh, sitting probably right under here because uh, that's just the way I want it to look. We'll go ahead. That is the uh, hemp. We'll put the hemp there. This one's the seeds. It doesn't really matter. We'll just need it somewhere. And this one here is going to be the actual treated wood. Then back here, back here, we'll have, uh, I guess, some cables, right? So we'll have one come from here because we need to feed a couple more items. And then this one and this one. And that should be good there. Won't set the extracts yet until we have the filters on the crafter set up first. Probably power it at the very end, too. So anyway, one of the items we're going to need in here for sure is going to be uh, the torches. So let's do that and the sticks because that is two of the components here. And then I guess we'll have to look at the filter on the inside. I know we'll have to have a filter for this. We'll have to have a filter for treated wood slabs, treated wood planks. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Um, I should have grabbed some of them too. Now that I think of it, I could just left click those, right? Yep, there you go. I need a filter for sticks. Then I'll need a filter for the torches. And is there anything else in the balloon recipe that we need? I don't think so. That might be it, right? Yeah, I think, I think I think we're good there. So that is good. Uh, what else do we need to kind of get filtered here? Probably a whole bunch of this. We'll just fill up the rest of the slots with the hemp. So something like that there. And then we just need to set up crafting. So the first thing we want to do is hit the remember because we want to make sure those slots always stay full, right? Otherwise, we get filled up with either sticks or torches, and we don't want that. Then we need to start working on the recipe. So the first thing we probably want to do is treat it with slabs. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we need to choose a recipe slot first. Let's go ahead and do that. There you go. Apply that. It's going to make it so it does the six treated wood, which is great. Then after that, what would be the next thing we want to craft? Probably the tough fabric. Oh, I need to fix those recipes too, actually. So let's go back here. Right now it's set to put the item to the external, so the, the output buffer. We want to keep this internal, so we'll keep it on INT. So that'll fix that. Oh, I totally messed up a recipe. There you go. Went ahead and fixed that recipe there. I don't know how I covered it up. I must have had this selected when I was doing the tough fabric or something and hit apply, but... We are good now. We actually have both. They're both set to internal. So we'll try to put the items into these internal slots first before it tries to put on the output. 
Then after that, I don't think there's anything else we actually need to uh, kind of autocraft here, right? So we are effectively done. All we really need to do is grab the balloon, do that there, apply that. This one can go to external, and we'll probably just send that to an inner chest and put that maybe into our main drawer system uh, because this thing doesn't have EMC, and that'd be a good place for it, right? But I think that's it. I just want to make sure because once you mess these things up and give them power, and they start auto-crafting. It gets really messy to work with them. But uh, anyway, this should work here. Let's go ahead and put power on that. So that's good there. Looks like I already made four balloons, which is what we want to see. Then we go ahead and pull from you, you, and you right here. Then if we go ahead and give them upgrades. Uh, how do I keep losing my... Oh, no, they're right there. I did not lose my upgrade. It's right here, here, and here. And what are you doing now? You're just straight up making them, right? So it's making us balloons nonstop, which is fantastic. We'll probably turn that to fast speed as well. So it goes faster. And that is not bad. That's not bad. And that'll just kind of continuously make that. You'll get caught up to this stuff at some point, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we probably want to go ahead and get these configured too. So let's go ahead and uh, link to that just to make sure. I guess it already was, but that's fine. Then we should be able to just link those up again. And they should start getting items again. Then I have some of that connecting glass. Let's go ahead and uh, put that right there. Oh, that's the wrong connecting glass. Uh, what is that glass here? You go here. I think that was regular Minecraft glass. Then you craft it with itself. Yeah, this clear glass. That's the stuff I want right there. Then you go put that there. And that should handle that. I think that's good, right? I'm just making sure it's still going up. <laughs> Are the items coming in? Yeah, it's still growing. It's going somewhere, so it must be going into that drawer. Can I actually just go in here and actually see like the straight actual numbers? It's so hard to tell if things are actually growing. <laughs> and actually going up, you know what I mean? There you go. Went to 141 there, which is fantastic. Then the last thing I think I need to do is find a way to pull out of this. I don't know if I can actually do that cleanly because we don't have enough sides. Uh, what I'll do then is here, here, grab ourselves a ender chest. Ender. Uh, do I have those on craft? How do I not have an ender chest on craft? Anyway, let's go to a ender chest. Grab one of them. Good, and we'll send that into our main line. And then I'll just uh, send it up this way, right? Won't be as pretty, but uh, it'll work either way. And that should just start getting those, right? Yes, nice. I need to grab some of those, though. <laughs> Good, grab the balloons. They need to go to the drawer wall first, so we need to uh, kind of sort that out. We only have like 40 or so so far anyway, but that'll effectively take care of that. And then after this point, we'll never have to think about balloons anymore until we actually have to send them into a singularity, which is pretty cool, right? So you going up. There you go. And now it does keep going up. This already has tons of upgrades. So then this thing could hold uh, 679 million, which is way more than we need. Look at this thing all sped up here. So it's going at a good pace now. So I have all the yes, upgrades in there. So it's going pretty much as fast as it can, right? So it's making it pretty quickly. We get a balloon like a couple of seconds. I don't even know how many seconds, but a few seconds there, which is not too bad. They're coming in. They'll kind of get processed over time. You can see the hemp is already uh, caught up. So it's gone through. We had like 170K at one point. And now it's already down to zero. I think we have, uh, if we look at the balloons here, we already have 17,000 and they're just going up, right? So they're just going two, 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 which is great. So we'll kind of get those over, I uh, guess, over time. The treated wood, we're producing faster than we need. I actually didn't need these extra spots, I don't think at all, because it's still gaining on the treated wood. But uh, everything's working good. Also, you guys may notice I derped on my uh, drawer here. This one here wasn't connected to here, right? So it wasn't actually getting any new treated wood. So I just ran the cable underneath instead. And that goes underneath the drawer, pipes in the drawer, and then I pull it out the back, right? So clean that up and uh, everything is good in that regards. I think this here too, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish off this automation or actually get it just about finished for the automation. Then show you the last step of it in the next video. But I already have a uh, compressed brine EMC link moving in the, uh, what you call it there, the stripped wood. Then I'll have to have a crafter down here. And that's why I kind of want to wait on this because I need to run a cable all through this wall down here so we can have refined storage cables down here. But uh, once we have that, we get this fully automated. I'm going to use something else for the rotational force to uh, get that done anyway. So we'll do that at the start of the next video. And then we'll probably get into compact machines next episode because we need to automate the, what is it, this singularity here? This is another one that's going to take a while, right? Uh, compact machine walls, right? So this is going to be a little funky automation to get done. So we're going to get that one done. But I want to get this one done in a compact machine. And then we're probably going to do the, there's like an emerald cluster one as well. I want to get this one done as well tomorrow because this one's, this one, you need mass amounts of this too. Several million emerald clusters get this done, right? So I want to go ahead and get the ones that are going to take a long time done first, right? So anyway, that is uh, pretty much that there. 
I think I may go ahead and actually wrap this one up here, though. So as always, you guys like this? Oops. If you guys actually like this episode, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. See you guys in the next episode. Later.